Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, everybody. To the Theme Park Wizard Podcast, episode uno. One, wow. These lovely SoCal Pals 323, which is Thanks in, for us. in uh, central Los Angeles. Um, three, two, three, it up. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> three, two, three. So, how's it going, man? Let's see the inspiration for your name. Three, two, three. Uh, the inspiration. I just, you know what? He wanted to start YouTube. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so, like, I didn't think about it. I just kind of blurted it out, and it just so got pals. It just clicked, you know. Okay, but were you born in the three, two, three? Or did you just choose that area code? I well, we reside in three two three now, but I actually grew up in the eight one eight. So I'm a Valley boy. Interesting. At Interesting. Heart, so. And how? Where did uh, you grow up? I grew up in LA too. So back in the day was two one three. Then it turned to three two three. So yeah, three two three. Ah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and before we keep going, we have to know the SoCal pals' names. What's your name? I'm PJ. PJ and I'm Danny. Danny. Yeah. Anyone who's uh listening, PJ's to the oh, they can't see you. Well, PJ, uh, they sound the same. Wow. Well, you know, <laughs> check out the video version for PJ on the right and Danny on the <laughs> left. And they go to which park do you frequent most often? Universal. Universal Studios. It's right up the street wow. from us. So right up the street. Yeah. How many do you live in the 818? Um, right over the mountain. So three, two, three, oh, right, by the, right by the Hollywood sign. Hollywood, basically, yeah. Oh, wow. Interesting, interesting. You go, you hike up there a lot? I haven't wow. been in a while. <laughs> I never hiked up there. No. It's nice. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And check out their pin channel. They have 1,880-some subscribers. I know. It's kind of crazy. Huh? How'd you get that many? I, you know what? I don't know. I don't we, know. it's like for like a whole month, we're waking up every morning and checking, yeah. and we're like looking at each other, like, like what is going on? Yeah. Like, what? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea what happened. Because <laughs> how many did you have a uh, two months ago? Man, um, I'd probably say like half of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I saw your channel and you had under a thousand and now yeah. all of a sudden you have one thousand eight hundred eighty seven. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> is this the right so <laughs> Yeah. Is this the um, right one, who knows? Yeah, and it's kind of weird because we went to yeah. Disneyland and we actually had people recognize us and you know they took pictures with us and it was nice. Yeah, it, was it was nice, nice meeting people. We love meeting new people. Yeah. So you know, me too. That's fantastic. What's been the most fun? Which one are your most popular videos? The most popular video, <laughs> probably the character meet and greets at yeah. Universal. Um, mm -hmm. The Grinch was a good one. And also uh, meeting Poe for uh, the Chinese oh. New Year. Yeah. Oh. Poe. That's much fun. Which ones, uh, what should we call it? What, uh, what types of videos do you like making the most? Well, we're big foodies, mm. so. Food? Food, yeah, yeah. Ah, so we like to try food. different foods, like yeah. to go to different places. Um, but again, that's also about having fun. So, like, the whole premise yeah. of the channel was we're not doing this to become famous or anything like that. We did this before anyway, we're just videotaping it now to show everybody what we do on an average day at the parks, yeah. or you know, be uh, the easiest way to navigate through crowds, or what to do on rainy days, and what to do when it's too hot outside. So, I mean. Yeah, it's we're still doing the same things we've yeah. always done. So just vlogging it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And is this your job or do you work and then just oh, do no, 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 no. We don't do this for no, a living, living at all. No. no. We, 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 have uh, we we both have full time jobs, so you know it kind of makes it hard to get out sometimes, but yeah. you know, we try try our best. I don't know, you go you, you just go a lot of places. I mean, look at this. You go a lot of <laughs> of a lot of time. I like it. You're doing so, like you went to Star Wars. They made the fourth. How yeah. was that? That was, was good. That was yeah. it, it. Was amazing. I, yeah. That was my first time going to a Star Wars event like that at a theme park, yeah. and um, 
I was pretty impressed. I mean, everybody just watching everybody around you get into that mood and every all the cosplayers and and people in character and even the cast members were getting into character. Um, it was just great. It was fun meeting people too. The food. And the, the food, food. Yeah, yeah, the food is great. What was your favorite uh, favorite food? Oh, uh, the uh, My, curry? No, mine is going to be the Wookiee cookie. The Wookiee cookie. Yeah, it was a hazelnut cookie. Uh, we waited We waited almost an hour at the Grand <laughs> Californian Hotel for this cookie. A cookie. You waited an hour <laughs> for it? Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, yes. You are a foodie. Yeah. But it was yeah. worth it. It, it was, was really it. good. We also bought these uh like lightsabers, yeah, they're, pretzels. They're pretzel rods, but they're shaped like light uh lightsabers. Oh, I like those. I yeah. like those. Those are really good too. But the Wookiee cookie is my favorite. The Wookiee cookie. I, it it kind of it's kind of catchy. The Wookiee cookie. The Wookiee <laughs> cookie, I know, right? So, but so how was the fireworks show there? We didn't stay we for the night yeah, event, so we only night. went for the day. the day. Oh no! But you know what? what? We we enjoyed it after because so. I think the park closed at eight o'clock for us. So we mm -hmm. went to downtown Disney, and there were still lots to do over there. So I don't think we went to bed until like almost three in the morning that night because we we just left so late. So we were still able to enjoy ourselves at downtown Disney and um, have a good night. There's still what, uh, what what events did they have at downtown Disney? At downtown Disney, they had a guy making a sand sculpture um, for the new show uh, Kenobi. Kenobi. Um, oh, I saw that. Yes, so he's that was amazing. Also, we helped build an eight foot size, uh, eight, eight foot tall Yoda out of Legos. So there was a certificate that they give yeah. you that you actually participated in that event. Um, that they give out to people. So that was lots of fun too. Was that free or you can just walk up? No, and do that's free. That was that free to everybody. Free. Yeah. Anybody can do that. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at Disney offering free things. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <What is> that? <laughs> that's incredible. Are you excited for Obi Wan Kenobi? Because I am. Yeah. Excited for yeah. Obi -Wan He's more of the Star Wars fan. Yeah. I'm more of a Marvel fan. I still like Star Wars, but yeah, he's 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 the one that's more excited than me. Yeah, I like Marvel more than Star Wars, but I really <laughs> like Star Wars. and you know I'm super excited for Obi Wan because I loved him in the prequels. They were stunning, perfection, gold. Revenge yeah. of the Sith is my favorite Star Wars thing ever. Mine too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> finally, there you go. <laughs> that's my favorite. And loins underneath it, but. Revenge of the Sith is numero uno for sure. Yeah, it's my favorite movie. The, yeah, even the soundtrack gets yeah gets to me. Exactly like that trailer. Oh, almost yeah. had me cry. <laughs> Folks, what did you think, Marvel fan PJ, of Doctor Strange 2? Oh, my God. Talk about your mind being blown. That was, you know, I was telling people, like, in the review video, or well, the reaction video that we did, is don't go in there with any expectations. Whatever you thought this movie was about, mm -hmm. throw it yeah. out the window because this is a yeah, different. Totally di yeah. This is a totally different take on Marvel, which they, I think they did an incredible job with. They did a good job. Yeah. What did uh, you What did you think it was going to be about? I uh, thought it was just going like to be uh, yeah, more like an action hero yeah. movie, and we oh. got some of that. We did get some of that, but we got some other elements too, which Sam Raimi is. Uh, famous yeah. for of course but i don't want to give out too much because i know a lot of people haven't seen it so um but yeah there's a lot of surprises in there that uh people are going to be happy yeah. about so that's right team wanda oh <laughs> <laughs> wanda's crushing we love it we love oh, it yes. wanda vision you loved it right you love oh it. yeah wanda vision was awesome yeah, that, that was, was so creative yeah. the way they did that show exactly did you like little wandavision references in there and oh, yeah. yeah all throughout yeah. all throughout yeah that's why a lot of uh people at work were asking me well do i need to see the tv show to understand the movie i said well it gives you a better perspective it's a, it definitely helps you know you want yeah to like your, i feel your, like you don't need to but then all of a sudden like if you do haha <laughs> so much yeah. better like oh, i got that reference yeah. you know so yeah. yeah like oh especially in that little little certain tune comes in you're like Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> comes in 
Which <laughs> tune? I don't know. You'll have to find out if you haven't seen it already. Which everyone already did. Man, so your home park, or the park you go to most, is Universal Studios Hollywood! Yeah! yeah. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do at Universal? Uh, oh, oh, mine. Well, it used to be Jurassic, but now since it opened, it's probably um, Harry, Potter, Harry Potter, the Wizarding World. Harry, oh, wow, even yeah. over Jurassic yeah. World. Jurassic World, it's kind of like a toss up. I guess it depends on how I feel that day. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I'm headed downstairs first thing, you yeah. know, and then sometimes I'm just like, let me go to Hogsby instead, you know. But, um, but yeah, I enjoy both. But uh, Jurassic used to be my number one. But since mm-hmm. Harry Potter opened, that's been my go-to. So I think Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah. yeah. You like your butter beer? I love butter, butter beer. beer. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Frozen. Right. Me. Oh yeah, he's What's a frozen butter beer. beer. I like frozen. Yeah. yeah. I like regular. You like, like the regular. regular. Frozen's too cold for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like too hot for me. <laughs> I just I just get a hot chocolate or something. But there you regular, go. Woo, Perfect, perfect <laughs> on a, any day. Yeah, I get it sometimes when it's 40 degrees outside. So <laughs> good, so good, man. So, what's your favorite food at Hogsmeade? At Hogsmeade, um, uh, fish? probably the fish and the chips, chips or the sticky toffee pudding. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Ever since I had those ribs, I can never go back. Really, right. you had the ribs. ribs? Have to get the ribs. I got the ribs. Yeah, I got the ribs once, but the time I got it, they gave it to me cold. So maybe that's why I didn't. Oh no! no. You gotta go back. Give it. Be like, I want hot ribs. (laughs) Right. And then you're gonna be like, this is incredible. Incredible. (laughs) Finger looking good. Like, what? Um. Yeah, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Um, what's your favorite food at the park in general? That I think that's. I like um, it's it's probably City Walk. I want to say. Oh yeah, we have a favorite. That doesn't count. No, that doesn't count. <laughs> park okay, orders. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, inside, inside the park. park. Orders. Okay, inside the park. Inside, so it has to be Hogsmeade. Then it has to be. Park. If I don't go to Hogsmeade, you you probably people are gonna come at me for this maybe. But I really like the corn dogs across from Jurassic World. Those Korean corn dogs. Oh, you had wow. I thought you were going to say Panda Express. Oh, like, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I like sometimes you want something fast and simple, and that's mm-hmm. just, it's a spot sometimes, you know? Yeah, the Korean, yeah. yeah. I like the La Cocina Mexicana. The what do you like from there? Rea, the Beef Rea Tacos. So good. I get them almost the every tacos. time I eat there. Yeah, almost that little sauce they give you. The, the nachos are good too. No, I have not had those. Yeah, those, those are, are good, good too. Yeah, yeah. Have, and where are these food reviews on your channel? Hmm. You gotta watch the videos. Yeah. We have yeah. we almost, have a couple. Um, I think I did the one I posted up from last this past Tuesday. I think I did a hmm. drink review. We did, uh, yeah. Casino Mexicana has new drink offerings, as well as the Hogs Head Inn at Harry Potter. So, yeah. ah. Oh yes, they um, yes, they. I do know the new drink. I haven't tried to get those new drink offerings. What's your favorite new drink offering? What do you recommend? I got the one at Hogshead and Harry uh, Potter. It's called uh, the Deathly Hallows. Deathly Hallows, yeah. It comes ah, in- I love that movie. And it's a three-layer drink, so it has three yeah. different colors. One for each Deathly Hallow. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it starts yeah. off with a lighter color at the bottom. The tan mm-hmm. at the middle, and then the black on um, top. So, what are those colors? What in greens are they? So, uh, the bottom one is a is a lighter color. That's the Angry Orchard cider. Mm-hmm. Um, the middle version, the tan, is the Hogshead Brew, mm-hmm. and then the top layer is gonna be Guinness. Interesting. What, what a mix! What a mix! What yeah, a- you would never think to mix those together, but it was delicious. I loved it. Yeah. And- Cocina Mexicana has that Fiesta Punch now, too. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, a margarita, but it comes with a tahini or like a tamarind straw. Yeah, it's a straw. It tastes like candy. It's a candy straw. But, it's, it, but it makes it really, really yeah. good. 
And they have another drink, which is non-alcoholic. This is a mango pineapple lemonade. That one is absolutely delicious. Yeah, okay, drink. we have to go to Universal and do a drink through. Yes. <laughs> We're going to yes. have a parade of drinks. <laughs> Very tropical one. Different. <laughs> Be careful with that Fiesta Punch, though, because yeah. it was pretty yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, we're gonna be careful. Right? We're gonna be partying at Universal. <laughs> Man. So Nintendo's coming soon. Did you know yes. that? Yes, Nintendo. Did you know there's something uh, called Nintendo World being built in the park? I hope yeah. you knew that. <laughs> really? It's hard to see, you know. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know. <laughs> and it's coming kind of soon. How excited yeah. are you for this thing? Uh, I'm, really I'm excited. I'm like super excited yeah, just because I, I grew up with Nintendo. I, I owned the very first NES back in eight, what eighty five I think it was. Um, so yeah, Whoa. that's like my childhood. I grew up with that video game system. So, what's your favorite Nintendo game? It's gotta be Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. That's like the classic. <laughs> Super it, Mario. Brothers, I like three. One, Super Mario Brothers one for me. I like three. And then I like the oh, Super yeah. Mario World. Super Mario World, huh? Well, I like, I only actually only own Super Mario Brothers Volume 2. Whatever was on the DS way back in early 2000s, the one I got. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. Oh, it frustrated yeah. me so much when I couldn't get through Bowser's Castle. And then I finally <laughs> got it. It is frustrating. Yeah. Uh, a lot of frustrating. And the ghost levels always frustrating. Oh, me. yeah, when you turn your back on them. <laughs> yeah, very bad, but that's very fun. <laughs> so, are you excited for this Mario Kart ride? I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited. We're excited. We're excited yeah. for it. We saw videos of the one that's in, in Japan. Japan. Um, and it, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Did you watch the, the non AR version and the AR version? I yes, did. I did. We did. Yeah. yeah. We watched Ooh, both. Which one, do, which one do you like better? I kind of. Well, the VR, but it's it's hard because you're not there, so you can't see it. Exactly. Like, yeah. exactly. I think it's gonna be different once we you're, you're there. You're there doing it in person than watching yeah. it on video. Because on video it kind of looks a little silly, but you were thinking, well, maybe we have to be there. Be there to do it. Yeah, because so. like it's hard to capture all that through a camera. Right, yeah, but, uh, exactly. Like, how do you even film that space? It's kind of, it's kind of trying to like capture uh, transformers on a camera. You know, yeah. you can't do exactly. that. Exactly. Uh, which do you like that ride? Uh, I think I I liked liked it before. <laughs> it, it, it has. It had, it had a I think it's run its course. Yes. Yeah. And now oh, if it disappeared, or you wouldn't be a uh, man. No, I wouldn't be upset if they rethemed it. Me neither. Rethemed it. No, no, I mean completely cut it out. Yeah. Yeah, just blew it up. I wouldn't mind if they put something else there, let's say a roller coaster. Or oh, Jurassic. Uh drifting roller coaster, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. Yes. A Jurassic <laughs> World adventure would be beautiful. Oh, like yeah. the one in Japan? Yeah. Yes. The you same one from Beijing. Yeah, I want yeah. that thing chasing me all over. Yeah. That'll be <laughs> blowing. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> so, you like? Did you buy? How much did you buy from the Nintendo store? Uh, well, my whole paycheck yeah. practically. <laughs> we got a lot. I mean, it's just ridiculous. We got the little light cube that sold out for forty bucks. Well, oh wow, that's a nice star. Um, it turns into a cube. Yeah. Um, we got a bunch of keychains. I mean, T-shirts, hats. I mean, too wow. too much. But wait, you're saying the star turns into a cube? Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 uh, it comes inside out. It's two and one. You gotta you you gotta show us. It's coming. You gotta show us. <laughs> PJ, you 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 be my guest. <laughs> so it turns. It, Oh wow! <laughs> okay, how much was that? I don't even know. How much? Thirty dollars. 
not bad for a star changing cube. Yeah, it's kind of looks kind of like this. Oh, that's such a nice pillow. I hope you guys sleep on that at night every night. <laughs> My dog does. <laughs> oh, wow. Lucky, lucky dog over there. You, and you, what's your, you got some cool shirts, right? I got the blue one that says Super Nintendo World on it. Yeah. That's a shirt from the store? Oh, no, no, no not this one. This is Halloween. Oh, no. I was like, I thought I had Nintendo shirts. Uh, from the oh, store. We, have, we, have, we have the player one, player two. I have the Bowser. He has uh, the boo the shirt. shirt. He has the blue shirt. I like that one. And then we have the matching hats as well. Nice, nice. I got the blue shirt and the Mario Kart jacket. Oh, that oh, was a nice jacket. jacket. Yeah. 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 Was like, a jacket. Little racing flag hood. Oh, that yeah. Cool. I wanted the jacket. That was real nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so guess what? What's that? There's something else happening every year. Halloween! Yeah. It can't... Our shirts. The yeah. Exorcist and <laughs> Maximum Screamage. Yeah. Remember that year? I that was a couple years ago. Yeah. Interesting. Well, Horror Nights is back and better than ever. Oh, yes. Yeah. Which are we ready? Are we're ready. It's halfway to Halloween, yeah. and we're already talking about, you know, this year's HHN event. So it's going to be and epic. are you going to film all of it? Uh, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna try to film as much as we can. As much as we can. How about you? Oh, I'm gonna film all of it. All of all it, of right? It? Yeah. Every <laughs> single square inch. You have to. You have, you have to. to. Yeah. You just got to. Especially <laughs> with some amazing mazes. Which one are you most excited for? So, for the rumors, uh, mazes. Mm -hmm. Which one are you excited for? Uh, that's been rumored to come. Would be Polly La Llorona. Yes, me too. They said that one was a good maze. Yeah, a I, I, years ago, I got so. to experience it. So, did you it love good. it? How was I it? I loved it. I loved it. I never yeah. been in. So, like, what? What was your? What would say is your the best part of it? The best part, I think it they had. I don't want to give too much away because it, if 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 it's probably going to be the same or different, so I don't want to spoil it. So. Okay. Like, be careful uh, the was, statues. Was the best part involving a body of water? Actually, yes. I remember that. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, oh, let's yeah. see. And I'm excited if they do this this year. Is the weekend going to come to HHN? Oh, he's coming. You think so? I'm already here. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> The weekend is coming to HHN both physically and literally. Oh, right. Because he keeps tweeting about it. He keeps being cryptic. Yeah, I've seen Why that. Why would he keep tweeting about it? That's it's true. Like, That's, true. Oh. That's true. You know, you can't just tweet about something. So we missed Billy Eilish that one year. So at least now we get to have the weekend. The weekend. So that's even better. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, well, the weekend and Billie Eilish and <laughs> all these musical artists, that's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> the weekend at least has some cool costume vibes in his videos. I yeah. can really see I can see how they can pull it off, you know. Yeah. And yeah. you're gonna be blown away because the weekend himself is gonna be a scare actor in the maze. Ooh. Oh, that'd be that'd pretty be cool, cool, wouldn't it? That'd, that'd be, be pretty cool. cool. That'd be cool. I'd be like, hold on, let me get a picture. All right. <laughs> 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 you know. And then, what do you guys think about the Jabberwockies? We don't talk about that. <laughs> we don't talk about Jabberwockies. I don't know. I mean, have you <laughs> have you seen the entertainment over in Orlando? Did you see last year's how they had those uh, the pyrotechnics and that circus act kind of? Yeah, that was pretty. But then cool. you come here, and we have yeah. the Jabberwockies. It's like come Very on, bad. like yeah, come on, Universal. Yeah. Come on, no more, it. no more jumper walkies. Yeah, I mean, come on, it's it's not even Halloween themed. No. Not even Halloween themed. And, uh, and we're not haters of jumper walkies. Yeah. We think they're very talented and great performers. But that's like a Vegas show. That's like yeah. something people would go over there to go watch. They wouldn't come to HHN not and expect Halloween. to see yeah. jumper walkies for Halloween. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, uh, uh, no good. Hopefully, At least bring that this thing is no place it. Do you remember the stage show, like the Beetlejuice stage show they used to have, or Bill and Ted? I'm not, but I can see them doing it again. I'd love it. 
Oh yeah, that they, they need yeah. to bring something like that. Something back. like that. Yeah. yeah. I also wanted the Dementor Scare Zone and a Dementor's projection. Orlando got it last uh, year. Uh, yeah. Did you see that? They did a whole show on that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now it's our turn. Exactly. Our turn. Yes. Fingers tell crossed. Universal people. Fingers crossed. Tell Universal this is what you want. Yeah. Fingers like, please. Are we the one who actually has the land open? So. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> what is your favorite Halloween event? Ours is Halloween. Um, HHN, it's a toss up because we did Not Scary Farm last year, and that one mm -hmm. was actually pretty good. Their advantage was they have the space to do more. So mm -hmm. the lines weren't clogged up because people were mm -hmm. doing rides and mazes, whereas Universal, you're very Just, limited on space with rides and, mm -hmm. of course, mazes. So, um, yeah, we got to do everything at Knott's as well. Um, they had some. I like that they're creative. They have their own mazes they come up with. They don't. They don't mm -hmm. rely solely on IPs to to build mazes on. You know, so yeah. there's originality there, and I I, I liked it. Yeah. yeah, I can tell you, I went to Knott's the first time last year. Oh, <laughs> it, yeah, it was the first time too. And about ten seconds in, it was my favorite Halloween event. Ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So good, I went back next week. I braved the large traffic off the freeway that I've never seen so many cars. Oh, yeah, in park ever. You gotta Ow. get there early. I think that's yeah. we went for the day day event and then we just stayed yeah. for the Halloween at night. I've never seen a place so crowded. I what love was your favorite, what was your favorite maze that you uh at Nuts. Nuts. favorite maze? Hmm. I like the circus one. When Mesmer, that girl came flying up, yeah, Mesmer, when that girl came jumping up from oh, the Oh, that was ceiling. Paranormal Inc. No, okay, and Mesmer at the very end. If that, it happened the first oh, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't have it oh, when we went when through we it. When we went through it, they didn't have it. Yeah. Yeah, so at the very end, this clown girl just jumped out of nowhere right out from the yeah. ceiling. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> we we went on that maze twice, and towards the end of the night, I think everybody went on break or went home because, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, in the entrance, that girl that was sitting on the chair or whatever, mm -hmm. there's so nobody there. There's nobody there. There's like nobody there. there. Oh, maybe, maybe it was a ghost. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope they bring it back this year because you've yeah. got oh, yeah. to go with that. it. And you got to see the jumping girl, but also oh, the yeah. the set was cool. There's that you know that circle thing, that fun house type of yes. thing. Was, Whoa, that's yes. that's cool. you're gonna fall over because you're like, yeah, yeah, the whole thing was super cool. But also, honestly, the, what's that one? The one with the witch, the uh, the uh, oh, uh yeah, um, it's like in Ghost Town kind of. Yeah, it's uh, they have their own story there in the Ghost Town. Yeah, yeah. And the witch, uh, that, Sarah, witch. Mar Sarah Marshall. Yeah, Marshall. Yeah, that one. Yeah, creepy too. That was the <laughs> part was when they had a little inflatable wall, and they kept having the hand pop up behind you. Ooh, oh, I ran yeah. that thing so fast. I'm like, I, I don't like this. <laughs> I can get it under underneath me or above me. I was running so fast. And my friend who loves horror stuff got creeped out by that one. Yeah. Ooh, that was creepy. There's so I many went. things. They're very creative they're when creative. it comes to their their scare elements. Yeah. You know, they don't rely solely on jump just, scares. Yeah. Or yeah. Sort of being behind a black wall, being boo. Mm -hmm. Um. They yeah. they interact with um their environment. You know. So. Yeah. They had like her flying. She was flying. I'm. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like that part. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. At Universal, I just kind of walked through. And I'm like, oh, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. <laughs> and then, ooh, and Knott's. I was like, ooh, ooh I don't know. Wait, I don't, you I know, don't know here. Pandora's box actually got me pretty good because yeah, good you thing. couldn't tell if there were scare actors or if there were statues. That's, That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that, was that was my favorite maze of yeah. uh, my debut. Especially because the very end, which didn't seem to appear in the latest one, but the the very end when it was all orange and black. Oh and, yeah, yeah. There's statues, and then there's people, and they went boom, boom, boom. I was like, whoa! <laughs> <that's cool." laughs> that also made my friend cry, and that was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, wow. But then this year I went through it, or last year, and I didn't see the orange room. Like, where is it? Where is it? And it's yeah. not here. I'm like, oh, 
all. You took away my favorite part. But I love <laughs> the maze. I still like the maze. That was a cool maze, Pandora's box. That was, that was an awesome maze. Yeah. But the best thing about Noth, it's, it's the, the secret seventh maze. The scare zone. It's oh, yeah. great. Wow. Yeah. They have a lot of scare, scare zone. actors. So cool. They do. Yeah, Everywhere you turn. Scare zones and the scare park over here. I mean, <laughs> yeah. fog, 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 the fog. fog <laughs> cool. Like, how could you not like that? And oh, then yeah. they have six themed Halloween, sh Halloween themed shows. Insane for $55. Yeah. <laughs> you can't beat that. You can't beat that. No wonder the place is so packed. They <laughs> should stay up till five in the morning. That's so much to do. <laughs> I mean, Not as incredible, incredible. I was super impressed. They do have a hotel package too. So if you ever want to stay late, um, you can stay at the Knott's Hotel and they have oh, a yeah. special package yeah. for that. So, oh, yeah, they do. Oh, and it gets you early um, access and, too. Yeah, so, early entry. Ah, I like that. Okay, little tips theme park. So Cal, <laughs> your SoCal tips is a SoCal pals. <laughs> but yeah, so I assume you'll be going back to Knott's this year. Oh, oh yeah, yes. most, most yeah, definitely. Most definitely. Here we go. We're gonna yeah. have to. I'll be there on opening weekend. Oh yeah, we, us too. And maybe if Knott's is nice to me, I can be at the media event. Yeah, come on, Knott's. Oh, yeah. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> You know, and maybe you can too. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know, that'd be fun. I, I I'll expect you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. But and back to Universal's man. What would you? What would be? I recently made a video on a five-year plan. What my five-year plan would be? What would be your five-year plan for Universal? Starting in 2023 to 2028 for the Olympics. Hmm. 2023, you got Mario World uh, oh, yeah. coming. Mm -hmm. um, I see an expansion coming in maybe two years later. Uh, possibly Donkey Kong Country if they demolish some of the sound stages that are back there and mm -hmm. relocate them to the new sound stages, possibly. 2025. Maybe. Okay, so what about what's your 2024 plan? 2024. Um, I, I want I, this is my wish list. This is yeah. kind of what I want to see done. But um, I think Mummy needs to be rethemed. Mummy, they need yeah. to re. They need Most to. Uh, it that's been there since early two thousands. So mm -hmm. it's it's time for it to hang it up and <laughs> make room for something Jurassic. Or I mean, that franchise has done so well for Universal. I don't I don't it's see why they don't want to use it. Um, like I even told him it's the first Jurassic movie. After we got out of the movie, I said, wouldn't it be so cool if they had a ride with the gyrospheres? Yes, or, please. Or something, yes. yeah, just something yeah. like that. It doesn't have to be like a high through ride, or it can be, but yeah, I see something like that. Um, mummy being rethemed and uh, repurposed for hopefully something Jurassic. And then 2026? 2026, I want, I don't know because of the. I don't know how Harry Potter is going to work out, work out with yeah. Universal because of Warner Brothers now. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to see a Diagon Alley um, and some kind of expansion. We went to the uh, Universal in Orlando and we went from Islands of Adventure. We took the train, the, Hogs, uh, the Hogwarts Express to uh, Universal. So nice. And have, have you been there? Never, I want to. Oh my uh, god! You the go. the train, really good, the yeah. train ride was even magical. I mean, it was just amazing. Um, they have the night bus. They have they have all those elements. Like, I I I want to see that coming to Universal. Yeah, I see Simpsons going away. Mm -hmm. Possibly, mm -hmm. possibly. Mm -hmm. possibly. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because that's Disney now. That's Disney. Mm -hmm. or later, has to has to go. It's gonna it have to go. Boom, boom, out of here. So there's a contract here. Yeah. yeah. 2027 2027 maybe expansion cd walk yeah i don't know what are they i mean is there another piece of land you know where they're building that um the creative campus mm -hmm. by um, frankenstein is there mm -hmm. another piece of land back there no, um, no not really there's a street 
-hmm. and there's some offices of Un it. unless universal pulls finally finally after years and years of trying to buy the golf course that would, yeah. that would be yeah. That, Amazing. Yeah, that, that's all they would need. Yeah, yeah. No, I need the golf course. No, maybe I'll go to the owner of the golf course and beg them to sell it. Yeah, I'll do anything. I'll do anything. They yeah. could do. They could do an entirely separate part. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. Islands of Adventure West. Oh, yeah. Ah. yeah. That's right. West Coast that's Islands. Right. Yeah, that's right. And it could be called the Deserts of Adventure. Ah, mm. <laughs> yeah. To signify the deserts of the West Coast, West, South, and West. <laughs> and lastly, for Olympic year 2028. 2028. I think, yeah. It has to be CD Walk and Hotels. You think it so? To, it has to be. Like a resort? Yeah. Like a resort. Like, okay. Yeah. I see it happening. Interesting. So, was that both your five year plans or one of your five? Do you do it? Like, Danny, do you have a different five year plan? Or do you agree? Yeah, agree. Similar. Because we talk about this all the, all time. the time, like so. the future of, of theme parks in general, not only Universal, yeah. but you know other parks as well. But um, but yeah, we're always coming up with uh, like trying to brainstorm ideas and what we would like to see in parks and stuff. So, so what's your three-year plan for Six Flags Magic Mountain? Six Flags. Three. I haven't even gone Down to there. Six no. Flags in the past three years. Yeah. Um. We used to be season pass holders. We a used to go. We used to go a lot. What and, happened? Uh, customer service. I, yeah, we just had yeah. really bad experiences there. With, like, so that's why you don't go and you don't talk to people. You just go and leave. <laughs> <laughs> but we like to talk to people. Yeah. You know, that's that's our thing. You know? Talk to guests. Don't talk to the employees. <laughs> <laughs> go. Talk to guests and rise and ride two or three rides and leave. <laughs> then talk to employees at other places that actually care. And it wasn't. It wasn't even yeah. so much the employees. It's like you know we're in line for a ride and then these two guests are getting ready to start a fight and yeah. the employees aren't doing anything. They're just kind of like <laughs> looking the other way, like you know. <laughs> oh, oh boy, oh, sound like six times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. But uh, you still should take a visit because single rail coasters are cool. Yeah, yeah. I do got to. We haven't been on the West Coast uh, um, racers. racers yet. And, and then Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. You got to go for Wonder Woman. Get on the little media list, and then that way you won't have to deal with rude guests and then <laughs> <laughs> trying to fight each other, right? <laughs> yeah. So at the media day, all yeah. you have is very nice people. And very nice <laughs> people who respect each other. <laughs> and then you can ride the ride and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> like exactly in SeaWorld. SeaWorld, when's the last time it's a SeaWorld? Oh. It's been too long. It's been too long. We never, yeah. I think Manta, Manta just opened. <laughs> we never, yeah. Manta. I never even <laughs> rode Manta. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's actually pretty nice. I like that because yeah. it's pretty cool. When it's not yeah. broken down, because it went when down. It's not broken down. It's it's a uh, what should call it? That will dip into the underground. I like that. It's like you're a stingray, a manta ray, yeah. dipping into the ocean. I love it. How creative! And then you oh, got what you call it. oh hi doggo. Yeah, she's what? craving what? attention right now. So what a cutie! <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? Her name is Carrie. Say hi. Carrie, Carrie Underwood. <laughs> hi, Carrie. Oh, wow. You're not even paying attention to me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very bad, Carrie. Everyone go say hello to Carrie. <laughs> go back to your pillow. Come on. And when is the last time you went to Legoland? Never. Never. We've never been, you know, and I've told him it, it would be kind of weird. weird because he wants, I want, I want to go. I, because it's like, let's go to Legoland. And it's he, like, he, he thinks it's for kids. So I would feel weird, kids. like, as an adult Everyone. without a kid going to Legoland. Yeah, that happens all the time. You go, you've been there a lot? Well, no, it's far, but I bet, actually, I've been there a lot when I was young, but, and, but I haven't, I want to go now. Like, Miniland <laughs> is the coolest <laughs> thing I've ever seen in any theme park ever. Yeah. yeah, Miniland USA. Hello. That's what several people have told me that the, the, the look is under underrated. Let me tell you why it's not just for children. You know the USA Today best new attraction thing 
there's a reason why Daddy Pig's Peppa Pig thing won that. You think a whole bunch of kids are rolling a flat coaster? No. <laughs> a whole bunch of Delta are obviously going to, <laughs> going to Peppa Pig's theme park and I, just jokingly voting for that coaster, but it's still winning. Yeah. And guess what? Adults are voting for it. So. Okay. Yeah, see. Maybe we do want to check it out yeah. because we, we were talking yeah. to someone else and um and he told us that um he had an amazing time with him and his family there. So yeah, and then look, you have the little coast cruise, we get on the boat, and then it's like it's like the the fairy tale thing the storybook canal boats it's just like, okay. like the canal. Like a thousand times bigger, you know, big boat <laughs> and you go and then you see all these Lego statues, the Statue of Liberty, and then takes you into New York Harbor. Super cool. Why aren't you there? Oh, my God. I know. Six, six. We like the Lego movies. And we like, yeah, we love the Lego movies. Lego yeah. And the Lego movies are hilarious. With Lego Movie World, you can get on yep. the little drop tower they got. But they have a flying theater. Hello. You're going to have a better <laughs> ride. Yeah. And they have a better submarine ride than Disneyland can ever have. <laughs> they have an actual, they have actual <laughs> sharks and fish in their subs. And oh, wow. Lego figures. You go. It's indoors. You go in the little submarine, and then there's sharks and f Lego figures. And it's super cool. Like, duh, why didn't Disney put an actual f Lego or sharks in there and things? Because it's not, they're not as fun. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if that'll even open up again? It's been down for. Whew, yeah, it's still cool. drained out. Well, yeah. Legoland submarines are open <laughs> for a year. So, <laughs> you want a submarine ride? Go to Legoland. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. We might have to check it out. We'll yeah. take your and advice. It has, a, it has its own water park and it has two themed hotels, a castle hotel and a I Lego hotel. That, yeah. mm, better themed than Paradise Beer Hotel, I'll tell you that. <laughs> like, how soon, to be, soon to be Toy Story. Yeah, but not even Toy Story, it'll be Pixar. Pixar. Yes, true. Yeah. yeah. We're going to slap some flesh coat of paint on it. And make it white, and, and we'll call it Pixar. Yeah, put, put <laughs> in there, and put up. And there you go. But the castle hotel will still be more themed. <laughs> Incredible! Oh boy, well, you know we're gonna plan a trip. All three let's plan a trip. We gotta plan a trip because that Legoland can be achieved in one day. And yeah. just go and go back. And they had a suspended coaster there, and it was, it's gone now. But it was pretty cool. And they, you know, they're the first to have the Kuka Arm technology with their night ride that they have there. It's still there. You can control your own little level, but you're on this Kuka Arm. You flip all around. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, that's cool. Look it up. Look at the rides. Pick your favorite ones because we're going. All right. <laughs> okay. Right. All, right. all right. You said Good. it. I you said, said it. I'm manifesting it. it. <laughs> Let's do it. I know where you live now, so you can <laughs> come get you. And we're going. All right, I'm okay. down. We're down. We're down. Good. <laughs> and with that, thank you for being on this first ever podcast episode of the Theme Park Podcast. It's going to have a name soon. <laughs> soon. An actual Thanks name. Thanks for having us. We had yeah. a, this was lots of fun. Yeah. You know what? Now we got to go to Universal. Oh, no. Actually, wait a second. May 28th. You should come. I'm trying to look for someone to go to Disneyland with me for Phantasmic. The 28th. So that's it's Saturday, Memorial Day weekend. Oh, our pass. Oh, yeah. Our pass doesn't let us go on the weekend. My pass is blocked out, but I'm looking to buy a ticket. So if you are to join, you better come and buy a ticket. And let's go. All right. We'll look into it and yeah. see if we can get tickets. Yeah. Silly reservations. But I'm probably um, going to go to Universal tomorrow um if not tomorrow then for sure probably wait a second Monday. you're gonna go on mother's day yeah yeah oh man what happened to your mother yeah uh, <laughs> she's, she's, having, she's, look at that. she's having fun she i think yeah. she wants to be alone yeah they're having some problems right now so yeah. oh man all right all right as long as you're not you know, pushing your own mother aside. When she's oh, like, oh, no, never, 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 never. You should come over, PJ. Nah, I'm just being nah. universal. Nah. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not. Nah. Oh. Well, listen, we'll catch you universal maybe tomorrow. Let me know. I'll pop yeah. over. And okay. My mom also wants to be alone. 
No, I'm saying you know, <laughs> we couldn't get, a, couldn't get a reservation for the, the place we wanted to go to. So we're going to go on Monday instead. Oh, okay. okay. But let me know, and I'll be over in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we'll drive to SoCal Pals 323 818 213. Then, uh, check out their video and become their 1887th subscriber. I'm not sure. Oh, 87 now. Yeah. I don't know. It just says 1.88. So let me see if I can get an actual. Let's see. How many do you actually have here? Let's see. Does it? It won't tell me, but it'll tell you if you go on yeah. your YouTube Studio. Become. You. He's gonna tell you right now. Eighteen eighty six. Oh, I was right. Become yeah. the eighteen eighty seven subscriber right now. <laughs> if they don't have it by the time this video goes up. <laughs> and as always, have a fantastic old day. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Now.